안녕하세요 여러분 저 이번에 제가 한국말로 된 발표 아니고 영어로 준비했어요 uh, My paper is uh, about the new discoveries of natural gas in Mediterranean and its impact on the international relations and I focused in this study on Egypt, Lebanon, Israel and Palestine In the last decade, new discoveries of natural gas in the Mediterranean came up to open the way for predictions of its impacts on the international studies, uh, international relations, especially between Mediterranean countries. Uh, actually, many countries are involved in this issue, uh, whether by its, in, uh, its direct relation to, um, uh, to, by having a share of these discoveries, or by indirect um, uh, relation to this uh, issue, by its need for uh, natural gas. So the question is whether these uh, new discoveries um, would lead to new disputes in the Mediterranean area, or would it um, be a factor of some co cooperative relations in the future? Uh, so in this paper, I will try to shed the light on these new discoveries of natural gas and its impacts on the relationship, uh, especially for the, the four, study, uh, four countries of this study, which are Egypt, Lebanon, um, Palestine, and Israel. And this will be through these uh, dimensions. Uh, first, I will discuss the importance of the new uh, of the natural gas, and then uh, the current status of need for natural gas in the region. Uh, and then the new discoveries of natural gas in Mediterranean and then its impacts on the relationship between the countries of uh, Mediterranean uh, and then the conclusion and the future vision. For the introduction, uh, the Mediterranean region is one of the vital regions of the world uh, with its uh, geostrategic location in the middle of the world and with its variety of countries that belongs to Africa, Asia, and Europe. Uh, the Mediterranean Sea has um, connected all these countries through history with many connections, with, uh, which include sharing the treasures of the Mediterranean Sea. So um, one of those treasures is uh, natural gas, which uh, recently um, has many um, discoveries that it may uh, have its impact on the relationship between the Mediterranean uh, region country. So for better um, understanding for this issue, I began with the importance of natural gas itself. Uh, actually, it's an extremely important source of energy for reducing pollution and uh, maintaining a clean and healthy environment. Um, we can see how, um, how it's um, better than other uh, fuels, uh, comparing uh, natural gas with uh, fuel like uh, oil or coal. Uh, this can be clear knowing that burning natural gas produces only about half of carbon dioxide produced by coal, uh, coal um, by coal fuel. So, um, Nowadays, we can see that the uprise of the natural gas as the world is seeking for promoting uh, the use of cleaner, re renewable uh, energy sources to protect the environment. The International Energy Agency, IEA, estimated that if the governments of world countries continued to adopt the policies protecting uh, the environment, the share of natural gas is in, in the total interna international supply will increase to 54% by the year of 2040, while it reaches nowadays 36%. As for the demand, uh, also uh, by the IEA data, it shows that uh, it's growing and it's estimated and it's estimated to uh, reach um, uh, higher than 20% uh, than today levels by 2030. Uh, this in contrast with the coal. In coal it's, um, and oil, it's dropping globally. 
uh, over 50% and 25% respectively uh, between 2016 and 2040. This um, according to the estimations of uh, the IEA. Okay, so we can briefly say that um, it's uh, without mm. anything. <laughs> okay, so we can briefly say that uh, natural gas, how come? Natural gas overtakes coal in uh, the mid uh, 20, uh, 2020s and oil in the mid uh, by uh, of the two, 2030s to become the largest the largest single fall in the global energy mix okay uh, this about the importance for uh, natural gas and then the second part is about the current status of need for natural gas in the region. So um, focusing on the four countries of the study, I began with Egypt, as Egypt is considered to be um, a, 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 an important uh, co country in regards to natural gas, uh, knowing that uh, Egypt is within the top 20 countries globally for proved uh, natural gas reserves, natural gas production, and natural gas consumption. Um, also, natural gas plays an important role in Egypt's uh, energy mix, uh, particularly when it comes to the country's uh, electricity uh, production. Uh, natural gas is um, the fuel responsible for approximately 70% of Egypt's electricity currently. Um, Egypt uh, was actually a significant exporter for uh, natural gas uh, for long, but actually, if, um, um, beginning of 2014, it become become um, to be an importer for uh, natural gas because uh, since 2014, it um, uh, it remarks some cons um, consecutive falling for natural gas production in Egypt, and the drop has been substantial and. Um, uh, as domestic production has been falling, it has started to converge with e Egypt, Egypt's natural gas consumption. This is evidenced by the country's 2014 natural gas consumption total of 48 billion uh, cubic meter. So uh, before Egypt was once a significant exporter of natural gas, but uh, it began to be importer for natural gas in order to fulfill uh, its need uh, for um, uh, domestic natural gas demand. Uh, actually, in uh, 2011, while the um, revolution in Egypt was um, happening, uh, there was a, a debate about um, uh, the natural gas exporting, uh, because uh, it happened some um, attacks for um, uh, for the natural gas line uh, exporting. Okay, I was saying about um, uh, during the revolution in Egypt in 2011, uh, there were some debates uh, among Egyptian people about exporting gas to Israel because um, uh, it was discovered that they are exporting gas to Israel by a very low um, prices. So they were criticized. Uh, there were many criticisms um, to the government about this. Uh, what happened that time is um, uh, the, um, uh, there were some explosions. Actually, it was repeated, repetitive Explo uh, explosions rocking the natural <coughs> gas terminal uh, near Egypt's border uh, with Israel, and. Uh, because of this, it forced um, the country not to uh, export, to, to stop uh, exporting the uh, gas to, not just to Israel, it was also to um, Syria uh, and to Jordan. Uh, contrary to Egypt, Lebanon is um, facing a shortage of natural gas. Uh, the potential benefits of a uh, domestic supply of gas are immediately clear in Lebanon. 
uh, Lebanon uh, depends entirely on imports of uh, fuel for uh, energy. Uh, consumption of energy has increased steadily over uh, the last uh, few years. Uh, in Lebanon, they uh, depend on uh, primary energy sources like uh, gasoline, gas oil, fuel oil, and diesel, uh, diesel oil. Um, uh, here are some uh, figures about the consumption uh, per day uh, for fuel in Lebanon. Um, so imported liquefied uh, petroleum gas is uh, currently used in both commercial and residential uh, sectors in uh, Lebanon. Uh, for a short period, uh, Lebanon imported natural gas from Egypt through Syria to uh, generate electricity using the Arab gas pipeline. However, natural gas imports were suspended, as I told you, um, according to these events happened in 2011. And, uh, but uh, um, thanks to the new discoveries of uh, natural gas in Mediterranean uh, Sea, Lebanon has taken the first steps to, towards uh, becoming an oil and gas producing country. Uh, Actually, there were some disputes uh, about these fields between Lebanon and Israel, but it was uh, settled about the Lev Leviathan and the Tamar gas fields. As for Palestine, World Energy Council um, shows no data for Palestine's uh, natural gas as the Palestinian territories of the West Bank and Gaza Strip produce neither oil nor natural gas. Um, there are some figures showing the consumption of electricity and um, the need of fuel in, uh, Palest uh, in Palestine. So it can give us the um, idea that Gaza already struggled to meet uh, even basic electricity needs. Uh, while seasonal power shortages are emerging in the West Bank, uh, with demand growing, um, uh, with a, a, gr a growing demand at 3.5 percent annually until uh, 2030, this this is um, estimations. Um, so, um, in uh, West Bank and in Gaza. They primarily uh, depend on uh, Israeli imports to meet its electricity needs. Uh, but also thanks to the uh, new discoveries of, um, uh, of uh, gas in Mediterranean, um, there is a hope uh, that uh, they can uh, produce uh, natural gas in the future. Um, the Gaza Marine Natural Gas Field was discovered in 2000 and and it's uh, located in 30 kilometers off the coast of the Gaza Strip uh, in the east eastern part of Mediterranean. Uh, but the development of this field is, um, is, um, is not uh, started yet. Um, this field is estimated to hold over 1 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. Um, it can uh, provide more reliable electricity to Gaza Strip and boost the revenues of the Palestinian Authority in the West Bank. Uh, however, the conflict between Israel and the Palestinians has prevented further development of the field and political problems due to Israeli occupation and the inter internal Palestinian uh, problems make obstacles uh, for Palestinians to use their new discovered field. Uh, for Israel, uh, natural gas in Israel is a primary energy source in, and uh, mainly utilized for uh, electricity production and to lesser degree in the industry. Uh, Israel was before importer uh, for natural gas, but uh, since 2004, she, uh, it became to be a producer for natural gas. Uh, it was thanks to the new discoveries of um, natural gas fields in the Mediterranean Sea. 
um, following uh, significant discoveries made at the northern and southern ends of the Palestinian coast during the decade from 1999 uh, to 2010, Israel went from being an energy poor country to a potential exporter of gas to world market. So here's some figures about the uh, production uh, estimated the esti estimated production for the fields uh, of Tamar and Levithan Dalit of Israel, um, which um, uh, give a hope for Israel to cover its need of electricity and also to uh, export to other countries. And it was uh, some news about exporting even to Egypt. Uh, in the past, it, uh, Israel was importing natural gas from Egypt, but thanks to these discoveries, now uh, it will uh, import even to Egypt. Uh, here, the third part of my uh, paper. Uh, I, in, in this part, I give some information about the new discoveries of natural gas in Mediterranean, showing the, the, in the map um, uh, the location for these uh, fields. As you see, uh, I um, I talked about Leviathan and Tamar, uh, which was having uh, some disputes between uh, Lebanon and Israel uh, about the borders, about the share of these uh, fields. But it was uh, settled uh, by the UN that it, it, it belongs to Israel. <laughs> Uh, in this part, also, I gave um, a table uh, for the um, production for these fields, for the main fields uh, discovered in the Mediterranean, okay, and the year of production. So I will skip this part, and then this, I guess, the main part of my paper, which is um, uh, concerning the impacts of these uh, natural gas discoveries for the relationship between countries. So um, still there is a debate uh, about uh, these impacts, whether it will um, produce some uh, disputes in the future or it will contribute to the cooperative uh, relationship between uh, the countries. Uh, we, can, um, we can say that regarding Lebanon-Israeli relationship, already there were some disputes between them among the uh, about these fields, uh, which I have just mentioned. And actually, there is um, an MA, a recent MA thesis had um, uh, published, had been published in American University of Beirut, um, focusing on, on this um, issue. And on the conclusion of this, um, uh, of this thesis, it showed that um, uh, most uh, yani unlikely there, there will not be cooperation between Lebanon and Israel uh, about this uh, gas, um, natural gas fields, especially uh, recently in 2017 also, uh, Israel had, um, uh, had uh, some declaration about the fields, uh, the borders, uh, the, the of the fields uh, discovered in the Mediterranean Sea, which um, yani, uh, which uh, led to some tension between uh, Israel and Lebanon. So uh, the history also between the two countries uh, doesn't give us a hope for uh, this cooperative uh, relationship to be built soon. As for uh, Palestinian-Israeli relation, conflict has already prevented uh, further development of the new discovered fields. And um, is, is the continuous long uh, conflict between them put limits to the hope for cooperative relation cons concerning the issue of natural gas. But if likely the conflict came to an end and the final peace deal is, uh, is signed between Israel and uh, Palestine, it will be uh, for the two states to agree uh, about the maritime borders uh, and accordingly share the benefit of the new discovered fields of natural gas. 
for Egyptian and Israeli relations, uh, it showed in the um, in the uh, near uh, past uh, some uh, cooperative uh, relationship about uh, natural gas, uh, and also it um, it shows uh, already there were a uh, news by Reuters uh, reporting that uh, there is an Egyptian company uh, will buy $15 billion of Israeli natural gas in, uh, in uh, two 10 years uh, agreements. Uh, and, um, uh, it was um, a major deal that Israel hopes will uh, strengthen diplomatic uh, relationship between the two countries. So briefly, above mentioned um, content gave us more expectations for continuous tension between Israel and Lebanon and uh, continuing conflict between Palestine and uh, Israel, while it gives some hope for more the, uh, cooperation between Egypt and Israel. So uh, for the conclusion, in this study I tried um, to search a certain relation a certain vision for uh, the future prospects of the new discoveries of natural gas in Mediterranean Sea. But we can say that the debate is still on. It's still continuous um, uh, about this issue as uh, there are um, ongoing developments of the situation that still taking part at the moment. So we can't be certain about the, the issue about the, uh, how it will change on the near future or the far future. Um, it may come with uh, more cooperation uh, relations like between Israel and Egypt and uh, continuous conflict or tension be like between Egypt, uh, between Israel and Lebanon and uh, Israel and um, uh, Palestine. Uh, but in uh, humanitarian studies, you can't be certain of anything. It, many things can be unexpectedly changed any time. So it's, um, this was my conclusion. <laughs> Thank you.